prove that 2n plus 3 is not all of 1. Intuitively, this is what all of 1 looks like. So this is c times 1 and it's always under our red function. So let's go ahead and increase the c and see what happens. So even if we make c an extremely large number like 999, at some point the red function will intersect the green function and grow faster than the green function. So that's how we know that 2n plus 3 is not all of 1 and that is exactly what we want to prove. We're going to use proof by contradiction. So let's say we want to prove a statement p. The first step is to negate it and suppose the opposite. And don't worry, I'll show you an example in a moment, but suppose b not, and then show that b not leads to a contradiction. For example, we want to prove that a box containing three cookies is not empty. So the first step is to negate the statement. So suppose the box is empty. So what does that mean? It means that you won't be able to pull anything out of the box, right? But then when I reach my hand into the box, I'm able to pull out a cookie. So that contradicts with our initial assumption. And because of that, we know that the box is not empty. Let's go ahead and prove this. So first step, suppose that 2n plus 3 is all of 1. Then by definition, there exists a positive constant c and a positive integer n naught such that 2n plus 3 is less than or equal to c times 1 for all n is greater or equal to n naught. Already you see something that doesn't make sense. So here c1 is just a constant, right? And over here 2n plus 3 is a linear function. So how can a linear function be less than a constant? It's supposed to be the other way around, so this is a contradiction. Therefore, this here is a contradiction as 2n plus 3 grows infinitely. So it cannot be bounded by a constant, meaning that it cannot be less than or equal to a constant. Thus, 2n plus 3 is not all of 1.